You guys are about to drop a mobile browser for the iPhone. Now tell us uh, what Skyfair does and, and most importantly what iPhone users are going to be able to do that they haven't been able to do. Well, Skyfire is a technology that can make browsing better, and one of the things that we will make live this Thursday is a browser for the iPhone that solves that pesky problem of when you encounter a, a flash video and you get that flash missing error, you can't watch it. We are bringing a technology, a browser that allows you to see all those videos. We translate them into Apple-approved formats on the fly so that on your iPod Touch or your iPhone, you can see billions of videos that were previously unavailable. You guys had to work through Apple to get this app approved. Um, you know, I thought Flash and Apple products were, you know, uh, a match not made uh, in heaven, shall we say. Well, we had to do a little bit of engineering magic to bridge the gap between uh, Adobe Flash technologies and what is required to play on Apple iOS devices. And the magic is that we don't actually put Flash on those devices. That would be not kosher. Right. We uh, translate the video format from a Flash container into a format that the Apple devices like, essentially an HTML5 format. I thought the mobile world was all about apps as opposed to browsers. Right. So the, the debate between apps and browsing, is the, which is the future of mobile networks, is one we hear a lot about. The reality is that the browser is the most popular app on the phone. Mm -hmm. uh, all the statistics show that more uh, Americans browse on their mobile phone than use apps. And I think that's not commonly understood. And the reason is simple. If you are a Facebook or email user or Twitter user or Dig or any other uh, sort of feed reader, you're constantly getting links sent to you by friends. Here's a funny clip. Here's a TV show. Here's a news story. Here's my granddaughter's uh, you know, first steps. And all of these videos are on millions of different websites. Right. And you need a browser that can follow that link. And usually those links are designed for desktop sites, not for mobile. In the long run, to make money, your customers are more likely to be carriers and operators as opposed to me. And, you know, using your, your browser and, and, I don't know, looking at ads or something. That's right. I mean, we're very proud of our consumer app and that goes on sale in the App Store and it's been popular on Android and other platforms. But that's really a showcase for mm -hmm. the technology over the long term. Our larger business is to help, uh, help the, the big players in the space deal with this explosion of video. Uh, that said, we have millions of users around the world in uh, dozens of countries and we have a kind of cult following and we love that because it showcases how our technology can help solve the problem. But for now, you can go to the App Store and uh, download the app. Uh, it is, Free money? It how is, much? It is a two ninety nine app, and okay. uh, there's a lot of uh, there's about twenty five million dollars of R and D that has gone into making this technology perfect. The technology would work on any website. Some websites, most notably Hulu, um, have opted out of your technology. Can you explain like why that might be and, and what the sort of the, the ramifications are for you guys or for others? Sure. So Skyfire can optimize any site, and technologically we could support uh, Hulu or other sites like that. They have their business models, and so every site uh, has their own approach to interacting with consumers. In Hulu's case, they, they're charging uh, around $10 a month for access to their content. That's their business model, and we respect that. For access to their content on, a, on my smartphone. Exactly. Right. It's, it's a Hulu Plus feature. Right. And so... Uh, it, we, we play hundreds of thousands of sites, and really only uh, two or three have, have opted out because they have a different plan. They want to uh, charge consumers and only uh, serve through their apps, and we respect that. And we really want to help the millions of other sites who may not have the resources, and we can make their videos look great on devices.